Hello guys, today I will give you a brief introduction for the Qualcomm Robotics RB5 platform. It was actually announced in the mid of June and uh, right now it is pretty hot for sale. I got this RB5 last week from internal sources and now let's just open it and see what we have here. Okay, let's open the box. We have an RB5 user guide. Linux embedded setup guide. We have a power charge, USB cable, two mini speakers, and the last, the most important part, the main board of RB5. <laughs> Let's take a look at RB5. As you can see, we have two layers. This is the bottom layer, that is the top layer. So the bottom layer is the core kit, which is the brain of the platform. And it has the SOM here, integrated with the CPU, GPU, DSP, and other important components as well. It has the QRB5165 processor with 4 Corel Gold and 4 Corel Silver and the processing speed is up to 2.842 GHz. This processor is customized for especially robotics applications and it offers a powerful heterogeneous computing architecture coupled with the leading fifth generation Qualcomm Artificial Intelligence Engine, which delivering 15 tops performance for running complex AI and deep learning workloads. The GPU for RB5 is using Qualcomm Adreno 650. With the multiple DSP and ISP, they can provide powerful calculated performance. And the RAM is about 8GB with low power DDR transmission. The maximum operating frequency is at 2750 megahertz. It has 128GB UFS 3.0 onboard storage. Besides that, SD card size is up to 256 gigabyte, and the bandwidth for that is 104 megabyte per second. As you can see, we have a lot of ports here. On the side, we have two USB 3.0 ports, and one HDMI and one Type-C. This is the combination for connect an external touchscreen. On the other side, we have a micro USB here, and this is mainly for debugging purpose. And we have the, we have the power port here, and another is a uh, Ethernet port. As I mentioned, we have two layers, and the top layer is actually an extension board, and we call it Vision Maintenance. And it supports uh, one main camera on the right, and another tracking camera on the left. And uh, also the top camera is also supported as well. Actually, RB5 can take up to seven cameras at most. As an extension board, it also accepts virus sensors. If you look closer, you will see uh, there are four microphone inputs on the corner. And we have, we have the GSML uh, camera inputs and also the speaker inputs as well. So RB5 is complying with ROS, AWS Rubble Maker, and 96 boards. It supports Wi-Fi 6 as native function, and the 5G will be supported as extra communication mezzanine. To sum up, we have some features for RB5. Uh, first, the processor QRB5165 provides power for heterogeneous computing capabilities. It has rich extension interface for different applications. At the meantime, it supports both Android and Linux operating system. Also, the memory is with low power DDR5 with high performance, and the size is pretty small. It is easy to carry and use. Mezzanine structure is very flexible for customer needs. At last, as I mentioned, Wi-Fi 6 is a native function, and 5G will be supported in the future as well. Thank you for watching this video.